friends, gather around because tonight we're talking about something truly terrifying, the American housing market. It's not exactly a sexy topic, I know, it's about as exciting as watching paint dry. But unfortunately, this paint is also on fire, and we're all trapped inside the house. The reality is, America is facing a housing crisis of epic proportions. We're talking record high prices, crippling rents, and a dwindling supply that would make even the most optimistic realtor weep into their commission check. Think of it like this. Remember that game musical chairs? Well, imagine there are way more people than chairs and the music never stops. That's pretty much the housing market in a nutshell. Now, I know what you're thinking. This isn't news. We've been hearing about this for years. And you're right, you have. But here's the thing. It's gotten worse, much worse. We're not just talking about a few cracks in the foundation anymore. We're talking about the whole damn house threatening to collapse on top of us. Let's start with the obvious housing prices. They're about as stable as a newborn giraffe on roller skates. In many parts of the country, prices have skyrocketed to levels that would make even a Wall Street banker blush. We're talking increases so high, they make inflation look like a casual observer, just along for the ride. But here's the real kicker. Wages haven't kept pace. In fact, for many Americans, wages have barely budged. It's like trying to outrun a cheetah on a treadmill. You're putting in the effort, but you're not actually getting anywhere. So, we've got this perfect storm brewing sky-high housing costs and stagnant wages. It's a recipe for disaster, and unfortunately, it's one that millions of Americans are being forced to swallow. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. John, you handsome devil, this is just the market at work. Supply and demand and you're not entirely wrong. But here's the thing. This isn't just about economics, it's about people. It's about families being priced out of their homes, young people giving up on the dream of ever owning a place of their own, and a growing number of Americans being pushed to the brink of financial ruin. Now let's talk about inventory, or rather, the lack thereof. You see, it's not just that houses are expensive, it's that there aren't enough of them to go around. We're facing a massive housing shortage and it's only getting worse. It's like trying to find a parking spot in New York City on a Saturday night. Good luck with that. This shortage is driven by a number of factors, including restrictive zoning laws, a shortage of construction workers and good old fashioned greed. And the consequences are dire. With fewer homes available, competition increases, prices get jacked up even higher. And the American dream of home ownership starts to feel about as attainable as a pet unicorn. So what's the solution? Well, it's complicated. We need to build more affordable housing, plain and simple. We need to reform zoning laws that prioritize McMansions over modest homes. And we need to address the underlying economic inequality that's fueling this crisis. It's a tall order, but hey, we've tackled big problems before. Remember that time we put a man on the moon? We can do this. Now, I know this is where things get a little bit tricky because we're about to wade into the murky waters of immigration. And let's be clear, immigrants are not the cause of the housing crisis. Blaming immigrants for complex economic problems is like blaming the mailman for delivering your junk mail. It's misguided and frankly, a little bit lazy. However, it's also important to acknowledge that immigration, both legal and undocumented, does have an impact on housing. When more people move to an area, it creates a greater demand for housing which, in the context of an already strained market, can exacerbate existing problems. It's like trying to fit 10 pounds of potatoes in a 5-pound sack. Something's gotta give. Now, I'm not saying we should close our borders or turn away those seeking a better life. What I am saying is that we need to have an honest conversation about the impact of immigration on our communities, including its impact on housing. We need to ensure that our immigration policies are aligned with our housing policies and that we're investing in affordable housing and infrastructure to accommodate a growing population. Because ultimately, we all deserve a place to call home. Well, that's all for now. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the Affordable Alternative Housing Solutions channel. Thanks for watching.